Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a Western Electric 554 rotary dial telephone. This is Gary and Stella's equipment from New Jersey and they want to be able to use this telephone so what we want to do since this is the initial checkout is kind of run through a little bit about what's going on. Now the age of the telephone it has taken on a little discoloration and so the handset cord through age has kind of aged with the telephone so we want to kind of try to keep that. It would be hard to find a handset cord that would match this telephone exactly. Uh, I've been through a lot of cords and the best match is the original cord that's with it. And what we want to do since it is good we just really need to clean this cord up and what we're going to do is install new ends, new modular plug ends on this cord. Uh, they're cracked up and they're in bad shape. But the cord itself is actually in good condition. So we're going to go ahead and repair that cord and clean it up. Now what we want to do is we want to check our transmit and our receive on the handset. We also want to go through the rotary. The rotary is very sluggish and we'll show you that. So we want to go through the rotary. We want to clean, oil, and adjust the rotary. We want to go through the hook switch. We want to make sure that that is cleaned. We also want to go through the network, check all of our connections. We want to go through our bell and bell circuit. And they have a couple of different ways they may want to hook this telephone up. And so what we're going to do is we're going to install two ways to connect this telephone up. One is with the plate that it can hang on, but we're going to have a little pigtail here that will come out and it'll have a modular port on the end of it so they can simply plug it in to a wall jack and then hang it on a wall jack. Or if they decide, they can come in and plug right into a modular port that we're going to install inside the telephone because the way they actually want to hook it up is with a line cord and so they'll have two options of what they can do to connect this telephone up and use it. You'll have the little pigtail modular cord and then you will also have a modular port that you can plug a line cord into any length, any color and then continue out of the telephone. So we want to get a start on the repair and conversion of this Western Electric rotary dial telephone and we'll come back and get some more video as we move forward in the repair and conversion of this really cool rotary dial telephone. So we'll be right back. Okay we're back now and we're in the middle of the process of repairing and converting this rotary wall telephone and we want to run through a little bit about what's going on. Now we went ahead and cleaned up the handset cord. So that turned out really well. And we also replaced the plug for the modular port for the handset and at the base of the telephone. So that's been taken care of. Here's an old plug at one end. That's pretty dirty and it's actually not in very good condition. So we went ahead and replaced it. So we want to set that to the side. We have the second plug that was replaced and we can set this to the side. It's of no use to us. We also want to go through the rotary. We want to clean, oil, and adjust this rotary. This is the dust cover for the rotary. Fits on like that. And we also want to kind of go through the connections at the network. We need to clean the hook switch. We've already installed our modular line port that comes out of the back of the telephone so that if you decide to hang this telephone on a wall jack that you can plug that pigtail right into that jack and then put the telephone up against the jack and pull it down a little bit because 
what happens is it locks into place. We've also installed the modular port on the inside of the telephone and we're going to do some still pictures of all that but that basically allows you to walk up to the telephone go ahead and put it on the wall and install the telephone plug any line cord any length any color into that modular port and it makes for an easy clean plug and play connection so we actually have two ways to connect this telephone up and we wanted to do that because I'm not really sure that they know exactly how they want to connect this telephone up and so we wanted to give them two connection points. We also need to go through the bell and the bell circuit. So we're going to go ahead and finish all that work and we'll come back and we'll get some more video as we move forward in the repair and conversion of this really cool rotary wall telephone. So we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now, and we are finished up with the repair and conversion of this Western Electric rotary wall telephone, and we're ready to start our final checkout. Now, we also want to mention that we are connected to the pigtail that comes out of the back of the telephone that would be used when you hang this telephone on a wall jack, and you simply pull that pigtail out a little bit, it's about five or so inches long and you just go ahead and plug it into your wall jack and then you secure your telephone on the wall jack like it's supposed to be or you can use the modular line port on the inside of the telephone and you can walk up to it plug right into it after you've installed your telephone plug right in use any length line cord any color makes for an easy simple plug and play connection so we have two options of being able to plug the telephone in and use it We also want to mention our amplified pickup. We use this in troubleshooting, repairing, and on our final checkouts. It's amplified so that you can hear the audio from a receiver on our final checkouts. And I have an amplifier and I can push the button when I want to let the dial tone be heard or a phone call. And so I can control that from the amplifier. Now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and ring this unit and we'll use the analyzer and send a ring cycle. We'll start that now. I'll let that go a few times. I'll let it go one more time. We'll give you some dial tone. Now what I want to do is I want to dial our numbers out. If you watch the analyzer, you'll watch the numbers roll by. We have a nice smooth return on our rotary. I'm going to end in a 2. Now I want to transmit into the handset. If you watch that red light on the analyzer, Every time you see that red light light up, that's an indication of 100% modulation on transmit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. <whistles> hello, hello. So now that we know that this unit is ringing in on a ring cycle, it's dialing out, we have transmit and receive, we can push this button on the switch box. That gives us a line out totally takes the analyzer out of the situation and we can call a time and temp number. We'll give you some dial tone and we'll make that call. Good evening. Today is Friday, January 15th. The time is 8.07. Current temperature 36 degrees. Now the weather forecast for the Belleville area. 
cooler today, mostly cloudy, then becoming partly sunny in the afternoon. Rain showers likely highs around 50 with temperatures falling into the 30s. Colder tonight, mostly cloudy, lows in the mid-20s. Colder on Saturday, mostly cloudy, then becoming partly sunny, highs in the lower 30s. We can hang up, give you some dial tone. We'll call my number and it'll be busy. Hang our unit up. Now that we know that this really cool Western Electric rotary wall telephone has been repaired and converted, we can return it and they can enjoy this telephone once again. This is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235. 6959. Thank you for watching and have a great day.